Hey guys, this is Ian Wilhite, uh, Greenhouse Horticulturist and Orchid Specialist here at the Madeline F. Elder Greenhouse at Newfields. I'm going to give you a little tour of the greenhouse today. So behind me is the Orchid Greenhouse where we keep uh, thousands of orchids from all over the world uh, and uh, of all shapes and sizes. I'm going to show you some weirdos. I'm going to show you some gorgeous ones. Here was the start of my uh, spring blooms display here in the orchid house. Of course, I didn't get a chance to finish it and I've since taken it apart, uh, but there's still a lot of cool color up here. Here's Bulbophyllum purpurarachis from Sierra Leone. This was going to go into the African galleries. Uh, and uh, I got this plant from Andy's orchids, really gorgeous, really huge. And uh, just check out the flower spike on this thing. Is that not weird or what? Certainly a showstopper. So hopefully here's a little bit of green to cheer you up. Plenty of gorgeous orchids. Really interesting maxillaria. Plenty of beautiful slippers. Platysteel stenostachia, those are the flowers. Those little orange things are the flowers. This is a great Paphiopedlum hybrid. It has uh, Paphiopedlum sanderianum in its blood. You can tell by these foot long sepals. And uh, they, they serve an important role in pollination, supposedly. They grow on cliffs in nature and it is uh, supposed that insects use these sepals to travel up and into the pouch to pollinate it. Here's another super cool uh, Paphiopelum, one well, of my favorites, Hainaldianum. And I get asked a lot, are these carnivorous? No, they are not. Um, and I'll explain in the next video how they are pollinated. So a bee would fly and land in this pouch and it would have to climb up the textured back of the pouch and on the way out it would take the pollen the pollinia you can see it right there the little orange speck and once it takes that little orange pollinia it flies off and does the same stupid thing again now this is Paphiopedlum hainaldianum which is just one of my absolute favorites here is one of my favorite genus. Uh, this is Gongora. This one in particular is Gongora fulva. And it is one of the most fragrant orchids you'll ever smell. It, it's definitely uh, on my top, top list of uh, favorite plants. And this plant just keeps blooming and blooming. This is like its seventh or eighth uh, bloom this year. And I got this plant from Equigenera, I imported it from Ecuador. So here is where I keep most of our miniatures. And I wanted to show you Lepanthes Orion. These are pollinated by uh, fruit gnats. And uh, it's a male fruit gnat that thinks that that is a female fruit gnat. And nine months later, baby orchids are born. True story. Ooh. Would be happy. Here is uh, two very famous orchids from Borneo. Uh, this is Paphiopelum Rothschildianum. And this is one of the orchids that really set off an orchid craze. Um, these plants were highly hunted. And this species is why uh, the Cites law exists. Uh, there's a lot of uh, controversy around it, but uh, it, it's very beautiful and unique. And Right next to it is Bulbophyllum baccarii, which is just an absolute monster of a plant. And these grow up trees in the wild in a circular fashion. Uh, I obviously tried and failed to get it to grow around this beech stump. Uh, but you can see it's going to move probably this way. Um, and it will produce large clusters of flowers on the underside of the leaves. Some people might ask why I have moss stuck in the leaves, and that's because these are leaf litter traps. Uh, 
in the in the wild. Uh, they collect leaf litter and then the roots grow into them. So I'll peel back the moss and see the roots. They don't have very long roots, so you have to make sure you keep it nice and moist. Oh, and another awesome Gongora, Gongora superflua. I'm not all orchid crazy. Um, this is an awesome bromeliad from Bullis bromeliads. Uh, this is Ichmia del Mar. And uh, I mean, our, that, those colors are unreal, right? Uh, and, uh, another beautiful bromeliad from Bullis. This is Ichmia uh, Tunisia, which I'm absolutely in love with. Oh, and Piercia abunda. This is a cool Gisneriad from South America. Just an absolute showstopper. I, I don't even think the camera picks up the, the colors correctly. It's so saturated. We also have Begonia maculata here. Um, we also have, this is one of my, uh, I, I say all of these are my favorites. This is Maxillaria uh, Booktenii. Uh, it's super fragrant, and it just blooms and blooms and blooms. This is its third time blooming this year. Um, yeah, I, I, People can be a little underwhelmed by maxillarias, but I, I think they're a super underrated genus. I mean, just look at that. So did you know vanilla is an orchid? Uh, yeah, this is a vanilla imperialis. And it is a very large vine. And it will produce short-lived yellow uh, flowers. This one has yellow with purple splashes on it. And uh, that once it flowers, you have to pollinate it by hand. And then you harvest the seed pod uh, months later, and uh, that begins the process of getting a vanilla bean. Uh, I will tell you that if you think vanilla is expensive, it is not expensive enough for all the labor that goes into it. And uh, most of the world's vanilla is pr produced on uh, Madagascar, Bourbon, and Reunion Islands. Just wanted to hit, this is our Morphophallus titanum. Uh, it is getting large. Uh, I have no idea <laughs> what it's doing right now uh, besides growing very slowly. It will be huge. And that will be something fun to look forward to in a few months. Here's Jumella densifolia from uh, Madagascar. Uh, Darwin actually had a guess on these Ingricoid orchids that there were actually moths with proboscis that long. And uh, he, he was proved right long after he was dead. And uh, there are quite a few moths and quite a few species of orchids that have that uh, relationship. Here is uh, one of my pride and joys. This is Stenhopia tricornis. Uh, it's a super rare subspecies, uh, Steno uh, chyla, and it's about to bloom for the sixth time this year. Uh, beautiful banana fragrant uh, orchids. They're just really gorgeous. Uh, you can follow me and you'll see plenty of pictures of them. So we hadn't even had a chance to get this greenhouse put together yet, but I thought I'd walk you through it. Uh, this is these are uh, two more Amorphophallus titanum seedlings. Uh, I got these from Angel Lara at Murray Selby Botanical Gardens. Uh, when we had a freeze a couple years ago, Selby very uh, graciously gave us a donation of plants. I used to work there and uh, we visited and they, they really hooked us up. Oh, here's another Selby plant. So, uh, big shout out to them. Just look at all this color. This is one of my uh, favorite plants in the greenhouse. Uh, this is Euphorbia fulgens. It's a rare plant uh, related to related to uh, poinsettias and they are uh, just, just so floriferous. This plant comes from Central America, just absolutely gorgeous. All right guys, that's it for me. Uh, I took plenty of videos for you, so hopefully you enjoyed them. Uh, 
and I, I hope that we will be able to see you all in here soon. Don't worry, I always have orchids blooming. So definitely make sure to come by once all this craziness has ended and uh, stay safe.